Pays attention, no one gets stuck. Hands behind your back. Oh, come on, mister. We're giving you everything you want. I don't even think about it. Oh, oh. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, God. Get in there. Follow me. Oh, there's enough here for us all to enjoy. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. Give it up! Ah. I got him! Ah. I saw your face, I'll remember you. You forget a thousand things every day. How about you make sure this is one of them? Here. Ah. Did you see that shit? Fucking put that bitch's face against the glass. Did you see that? Yeah, you're <laughs> real stout. <laughs> Chopper. No! Hey! Stick to the plan! What? Stick to the fucking plan! Come on! Where the fuck's the chopper? Fuck. I'm gonna check around back. Ah! Oh, the fucking fence! Someone must have fucking talked! All right, Brad's gonna be fine. We gotta get the fuck out! I'm hit! Oh, Jesus! T, you gotta get out of here! I'm gonna leave you, Mikey! Go! God, I'm not gonna make it. I'm fucking gonna bleed out. Go! No! You come near me, she's fucking dead! Stay back! was not always a good husband. <laughs> not always a good citizen. He did not die a hero's death. But he was a man. <laughs> Our Lord was crucified with two thieves. So perhaps we should not judge. We are born of sin and we die in sin. And in this, Michael is like anybody else. Father, we do not know your infinite mysteries. But we know that you will show mercy to our friends. Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. 
And if that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid. And I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another Bray and Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, would you come on? Fuck. Actually, yeah. It's that house right there, with the yellow stairs. Yeah, good looking out, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your <laughs> stupid ass on. Damn. Why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting and reads there's a couple niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh, yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all. Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lick, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slinging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie, this the spin knot right here. Your boy Simeon wasn't bullshit. Man, get your ass in here. Bring your ass, fool. Always trying to boss somebody. Come on. Like that? Bobby Big Dick on a nigga, huh? Shit, for real, homie. Damn, this motherfucker got robo roof and everything, nigga. He should have paid the nizzo. <laughs> Man, you got to grind to keep that shit. Now it's back on us. Hell yeah, I wanna see what it do. Hey, hit me on the speakerphone, dog. Gross like that? For sure, homie. What you going slow up the road for, dog? Move over so the traffic can flow through. Whatever, nigga. I'll let something flow through your ass. Dog, I ain't too sure that joke works, dog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the one time. Be cool, fool. We got the paperwork. Whatever, you explain that shit. I'll see you at the dealership. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, fool? Who you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I, I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Uh, but seriously, maybe he's not a racist. 
But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here? Him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this when he real and mean. He gonna get all his full money. Watch this. Look, man. I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Simeon. I'm out. I holler at you, homie. <laughs> it's the best part, man. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with. Nigga. What? Oh, this motherfucker. Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I see you at the thing. You here? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening. Goddamn freeloader. So good to see you. So good. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very honored to announce to you that you are employee of the month. Huh? Anyway, congratulations. It wasn't easy picking a winner. <laughs> yeah, me, Lamar, your nephew Sacha with the Twitch. Look, man, it's been a real honor, homie. But I gotta move forward in my life. It seems like all I do is let people tell me what to do and I do it and nothing changes. I tell you what, my boy. You tell me exactly what you want and I will very carefully explain to you why it cannot be. What? Today is repossessing vehicles that fools have purchased at exorbitant interest rates. But tomorrow, together, <laughs> I never had a black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like you. Knock, knock, ah. nigga. <laughs> Hello, What's Lamar. Up, What's up, homie? What's up, Nenobi? What's up, dog? Franklin here has been awarded Employee of the Month. You fucking with me, right? Man, we both being fucked with, dog. Man, knock it off, man. For real, after all the motherfucking work I put in, man. Man, fuck this Employee of the Month shit, homie. I'm sitting up here trying what to get What you mean, us... fuck this employee of the month shit, man? When it's some shit to be won, goddammit, I want it. I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I take no prisoners. I go hard doing this shit. Big dog, big nuts. When names is on the motherfucking board, I want to see my name at the top of that motherfucking next to it. It needs to say, winner. <laughs> hey, maybe next month, huh? Man, fuck next month, Simeon. What about today? I, I demand a retrial. Today is nothing. Just a bike. Hasn't made a payment at all. Some kid at Vespucci Beach. His name is Esteban Jimenez. Is he in a gang? Curiously enough, I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do, uh, employee of the month. Man, fuck you and come on. Man, he's about a yes master ass nigga. <laughs> Man, ain't this about a bitch? Ain't no motherfucking bike in here, man. No shit, nigga. Hola, amigos. Hola, S.A. Uh, we saw you trying to creep up in here, man. Yeah? You saw this motherfucker? Oh, shit. Yo, yo. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Vamos. Fucking fucking die. Hey, come on down, everybody. Come on down. Hey, nigga, I would've just got my ass beat over a fucking gunfight. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga. That's that Apache blood in me, homie. Yeah, lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Nigga, and we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! That oh, boy, I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James De Santa. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments, huh? Just go and get it. The house is on, um, uh, 
Hampstead uh, of Eclipse. It's an SUV. Yeah. Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck. Man, shit! No! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'm Tyson. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. <laughs> he agreed to financing I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot. But you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here. What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. 
I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that? I'll tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. It's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. Oh, fuck this! Shit, okay. right. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man, and drop it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? Show, sure, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey, you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean... I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Pete, what the fuck is wrong with you, Tanya? Ain't nothing wrong with me, nigga. Shit. Well, your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JB? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Yeah, whatever. JB, look, JB gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house. You know what I'm saying? The business, everything. And you his cousin, nigga. You said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about touring cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'm gonna show you. Come on, shit. All right, then. Shit. She, she win everything. Oh, of course I say that po' boy is lying. But you know what? It's getting to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> But girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know. I'm just asking. This is spirit walking. Exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. We are women we and are we women. are free. Free and patriarchy. We are women. Here are free. We are women. Here are free. We are women. Here are shot. And we are women. Damn! F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to- Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got- I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come where? We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. Hey, what's up, boo? Ain't you little Laida's cousin? Yeah. Damn, you short witty. I was just saying, I was trying to and holler at you. You ain't hollering at nothing over here. Why has it gotta be like that? I'm an OG. And OG, so what? So the fuck what, nigga? It's a million OG. Well, over shit, here. how about I put one of these little X pills up your ass crack? Next thing you know, you're gonna be begging for it, boo. That's boo. disgusting. What's happening now, D man? Ain't no fun if the gangsters can't have none. Man, fuck you, Mark. I ain't sharing no ass with the CGF. Ain't nobody sharing nothing. Man, shut the hell up, fuck bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Man, fuck y'all. Hey, ain't there a law against you mark-ass gangsters insignia mask-wearing motherfuckers? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something, oh, nigga? Oh, shit. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I'm out of here. Fuck y'all, hey, Come on, get bitch. that, Come on, let's go. Man, take time. Go get that fool. Nigga, you just sitting your ass there with your feet kicked up. 
Come on, chop. Come on. Go bite his ass. Get that motherfucker, chop. Oh, fuck. This ain't time for humping, chop. Come on, man. Put him up. Scared of dogs, nigga? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck up, you son of a bitch! That bitch just fucking bit me, man! Shut the fuck up. Hey, man, get over here! Oh, shit! What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CTF! Because maybe we doing our own thing. What the fuck, what the fuck man? man fuck? Shit! Hey, Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Just get in. Yeah, that's you, nigga. Fucking oh, idiot. Shit. I said I had no beef, man. Shut the fuck up. Hey, man, what the Watch fuck? Watch Get this fucking dog away from me. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Here. And nigga, give me that damn phone. What the fuck? Fuck y'all. I'll be seeing y'all soon. All right, motherfucker. You the motherfucker. You better watch out for them ballers. They're going to be on you now. The cops going to be on your ass, too. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. I'm a motherfucking gangster. You know how I do. I can take care of my sizzle. No, the fuck you kids ain't. Hey, you. Stop it. What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <sighs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud! We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh. How fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin, maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. It... Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Uh. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance a rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> Of course. Great. That's nice. 
Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. No, I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye-find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, nice. No! With. I'm watching Shame Famer Obama. Shame! Her fucking tits! No! Give me Mine's on fire! Woo! Alex! I've never seen someone set fire to their crotch before. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Ah! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa! Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you! Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... Why you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? Y you want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. Ah. <sighs> Looks like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm a dancer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, Jay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dad? Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. Hey, dude. What are you doing? Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, man! I like him! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to the scene of my fucking boat. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on. 
Now, I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! You! You fucking asshole! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. I don't want to know. Franklin! What the fuck? I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute. Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you say? Anyway, magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scarce, boy. Go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Goodness. And stay out of trouble! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Bitch, you ain't no more of a man than me. I hear that. Gangsta shit, nigga! Look who's bizarre. What's up, What's fool? With it, man? Oh, no, no. Show some respect here, nigga. That man, they couldn't hold down his back. Come on now. Damn, man. I gotta spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? I missed you, dawg. Oh, oh. You missed me, huh? Nah, no, I ain't missed you. Your ass could've stayed gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your moms, mm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha. You got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on out. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. But I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. Why you keep hanging around this clown, L? Shake this fool, we man. We from the same set, Stretch. Why, why y'all niggas can't get along? Y'all been doing this shit for years, man. You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. Yo, motherfucker, I know little niggas like you been turned out on the daily. Talking about being hit up, nigga, I swear, man. You ain't got no motherfucking respect. Motherfucker, I got respect for reality. Reality? All right. All right, you keep thinking that. Just keep thinking that, nigga. Shit, you gonna get yours. Fuck you. Oh, I swear, man. Sprizzettes, come whoa, on, whoa, man. Whoa, cool out. Fuck, Chill, man? man. This motherfucker get on my goddamn nerves. The nigga get on my nerves, too, man. What's part of the nigga charm, man. F, come on, man. Let's just bust a move, man. You gonna drive or what, Phil? Drive where? Pick up this heat, nigga. Why? Business, nigga. We don't business. Come on, girl. Y'all niggas act like girls. Shit. Not me. Shit. Ammunition. Armorer to the stars. Hey, what's up, man? Firing range is in the back, and all our weapons are customizable. Oh, hell yeah! You can trick your blam blam out up in here. Quit all that. Just straight up artillery, man, all right? Don't y'all shut the fuck up. I got this, you clowns. Ha ha ha! What's up, up fool? fool? What up, We got that shit, nigga, with a paper hat. Nigga, I'm talking about Buku Bill. More Davis. <laughs> what's up, boy? Everything cool? Hold yeah. on, man. What the fuck, man? You was just kidnapping this nigga. Oh, oh come, come on, on dog. You don't real yeah. recognize real. D, my nigga, just got out crossing lines, did some time with some of your folks. Hey, look, look, look. This ain't about you, what? man. What? You know these niggas dumb. Yo, what fuck the fuck up? this trick talking about, man? Yeah, What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody see, see? On us? They put a nigga on TV, man, about some gang intervention shit. Hey, this ain't the police, dawg. This some ballers bullshit. Nigga, that's some bullshit. Fuck you. Hey, you been set up, nigga. This shit fuck, fuck, fuck you, fuck nigga. Fuck you, nigga. shit. Oh, bitch-ass ballers. Shut the fuck up. Hell no, nah, nigga. You sounding more and more like a snee eye yitch every day. Hell nah, yeah. Nah, nigga, I sound like somebody trying to make some paper and not get killed. He's a hook-ass nigga, I told nigga, you. Nigga, go toss a salad, stretch mark-ass bitch. Fucking bastard. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. And they say it cannot be hit. Hasn't been yet. Look. I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. 
Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, yeah, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in L.S. or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. The same my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm going to take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. OK. Thank you, sir. Here are the photos. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Uh, well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't wanna leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, Methods don't change. Right. Not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, uh, showing you all the angles. That's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSP tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right. If you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Fuck you whole ass niggas! Man, if you channel half that energy into getting the ass, you'll be the man! Man, bitches smell a punk a mile away, and I ain't no punk, nigga! Tanya, do you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? Fuck you, Lamar! I mean, Franklin, or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gone on vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. 
You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. Now we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized, we don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not gonna be an issue because everything's gonna go just fine. The, um... The uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael, he makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep. No problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Do you love her? Well, I, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Well, think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... <sighs> I told him to fix that goddamn AC! Oh. Hmm. What's going on? So for the last time, move it. Make it the fuck out of my face. Oh, oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. Waiting on you, kid. All right, people, we need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. so what now? We get out of here, keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin, listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. I don't care if you got money now. Don't you get it? That ain't what I was looking for. Not then, not now, not ever. I know it ain't important. Just let me take you somewhere nice, all right? Where are you? Are you in a strip club? Grow up, stop looking for the easy way. Tanisha, I gotta go, all right? Uh, I, I'm gonna change, I promise. You won't even recognize me. <sighs> oh, hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Nothing. Really? The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. Albert Story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. And this other guy runs out of the shop, he pushes me over and says something like, you forget thousands of things every day. You make sure this is one of them. That's pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You want to get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you want to you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor! You been with my girl again? 
I'm speaking with you, asshole! Don't do it, Johnny! I told him, Trevor! I told him! We all get high! We all get high! But that don't Leave make it, it right! Johnny. Leave it! The crystal has got us, babe, but it don't make it right. Don't make nothing right! Not what you're done with me! I'm telling Johnny, leave it! I ain't leaving nothing! Trevor! I'm talking to you, motherfucker! Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy, all right? Let's... let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him. Leave it. Leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a meth head, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh. I don't mean nothing by it, man. I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug. Yeah. Shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you then! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Fuck. Hey, you seen Ashley Johnny's looking for? Her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did just ten minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you messin' with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry. What was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party of the left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. Soggy friend, you are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. Get out of the car, Ron. Any time to think. Run! Trevor, you're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. He's won. Ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I Ooh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, uh, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. I'm <laughs> 
You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chong is pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What the is wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips' corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out. We partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. Shit, Trevor! We ain't got long! Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef! These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. Chang and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung! <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right? Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So bomb. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, Chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, what is that little spring clean? I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K? And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic, midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor, they are. They're chap wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. Please load it up with crates, Trevor! Just like you said! The rest of the guns must be on the plane down the end of the runway. Shit! This one free you, permit job prick! Suppose there's room for a passenger. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But. There is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might. Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now, because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable! Oh, that's right! Now go! I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.
Oh, thank God. I'm in so much trouble. Can you give me a ride? It's my father-in-law's. This little bastard. He loves this car more than he loves his own daughter. Babe! I'm so sorry! Dude, keep the car! This marriage is only happening because of you! Holy freaking cricket! You finally decided to show up! As long as we are married, I will never forget this! Babe, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Come just... on! You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la! Quite in! Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say... Oh, no, 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 you're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. <laughs> the O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my sweet Jesus! No way! <laughs> I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but... We know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Get back here. You're not even hidden. Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut then up I before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda. Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. Oh. 
You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Floyd! Floyd! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never approved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a Fucking drink, I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. All right, okay. Fuck. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. Look, it was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. Uh, good Lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, um, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come she might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? 
Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. <laughs> come on, Sir, you dipshit. Ah, oh, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar, huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was really... <laughs> All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. <laughs> Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Mu Security! Uh, Security! No. What you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come no. on, there! No. No. Fuck no. Come here, you little shit! No. Oh, hey, 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 guys! You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Huh. You proved your point. Huh. This is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, lower, come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come on, no. get off. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. Davey. How you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. 
Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if no when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. 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 I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no! It's reanimating! You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're gonna... Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Come on. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his, and everything was cool. Problem started when recently... I became unretired. 
I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the move then, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Never is a... Trevor is a what? Uh, Trevor is a good guy. He's like family. I got kid, ain't he, Floyd? That, 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 that's it, right. Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam. He died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Oh, show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Come. 
Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, team. Hey, 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 hey! You can't come through here. It's restricted access. No entiendo! Uh, no understando! Uh, manifesto! Manifesto say deliver here! Mm. Hey, stop! Where the fuck Get do you think you're going? You must have got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, must have just read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, here. I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's <laughs> there, there, Wade. Look, look, look. It's right. You're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> did, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's well, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! <laughs> and, there, perfect. All right, so. Based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aight, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? Offshore. Deep sea adventure. Gotta be. You and Floyd can help. We'll get Michael involved, and he can put us in touch with some local talent. Tell Floyd to find us a submarine, and ask Ron where we can steal a heavy lift chopper. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man! Smell him! No. Smell him! Uh, Trevor, Trevor, I, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just uh, 
Why don't we just let this all slide? Huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now, here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole! Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. One, two, three. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. Ah, bullshit. Ooh la la. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. You feel that the emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. Okay. Oh, fuck this. Was that too complex for you? Later, you can show a stripper how flexible you are. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? Your inner eye. <laughs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? 
Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Mm. Oh, oh, very... oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! We can... ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back. Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's, man? Up? what's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> now, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta pull over. Oh, what was in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? Yeah, anesthetize me? You fucking you shit. You from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? Right? You're too crazy, Dad. Come on. Get out of here. How could you? I mean, this is low even for you, Michael, I think you've finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. We've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! Isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. 
Sorry, guys. This barn hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, <laughs> duh! I love it! I, I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up to questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seen as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit! <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really? Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right, and we do this, and they help us bring Brad, right? Yeah, we'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing. <laughs> You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. <laughs> Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! You think you're impenetrable? No, 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 no. Oh. See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually. No, no, no. I... <laughs> What the fuck is this? Terminate him! Close this problem right now! Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Oh, whoa, That's it! Oh. Get us out of here! Roger that! Whoa. Whoa. Looks like we've attracted the attention of their air unit. Right, let's go. Where are we? You go easy on it. Thank you. Oh, why you saved me? Hey, hey! No, huh? No, 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 no! Hey, hey, I said easy! Oh, oh, come on, give the guy oh. a break! I'm gonna get out of this shit. Ha <laughs> ha! 
in bed with the Bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. I'm here. Oh, <sighs> gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Why don't you stick doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You. You back there. I know you, but you? You I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep out of the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. I don't. I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Go. Hey, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. This is bullshit. This place. Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You need anything? You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. 
This guy is an our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him, just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Cut. Hey, you want a coffee? Can I get you a Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, huh, please, look at me, please. You're in the sausage factory, all right. Make some sausage. Not the jumpers, my heart, not the clips. Don't zap me. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm cooperating! Not that! Please! He's done. All right. Come. <laughs> you, you see his face when I did that? <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here. Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Uh, well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. What a dick. <laughs> This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him to up. No, please. Free dental work. Ah, aren't you a lucky boy? Are you still alive? Not the pliers. No, no, no. Come on! Gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I don't want to get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now, huh? Now you ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped. The second That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after. What does he look like? I was built. I was like. Middle age. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling. This better dark be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Oh. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, sure, shit. Sure. Let me think. I remember. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Don't hold back now. Oh, 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 oh. Please. Good knee shot. So what have you got for us? Hmm? 
We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 He's got beard. He's got beard. He's got beard. Uh-huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. No. Yeah? I'm telling you the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, look, he's, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. <sighs> Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. It's a torture. It is. My mouth. I, I would drown. I got blood in my mouth. Oh! Ow! I was wrong! Say this! Look at me. I am a genuine government man. <laughs> It's all in your head, Ferdinand! The world. Let's get him upright. No, oh, he looks so peaceful sleeping there. I don't want to wake him. It's coming. I'm still here. Mr. K. Uh, uh, Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. It's okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets he should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a rapid ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's the sport. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Here we be. 
Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Hello, Trevor. I missed you. Hello, Wade. I missed you, too. Uh, hello, Trevor. Oh, there. Hey, Hot Lips, where you been hiding? No, no, no nowhere. I've... I got a, a knot the size of a baseball in here, all right? Needs a little, uh, loosening up, all right? Oh. <laughs> Massage me, motherfucker! Good, good. Ah. 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 Trevor's hard at work, huh? Uh, where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy! With the stars in his eyes. Not like that. What's not like that? Oh, hey! Hey there, uh, You and him, the old father-son issues? Gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent! You wanna go? No, I'm good, though. Hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. What the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. It better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, see, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds, but for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses, you know? A carrion-eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? <laughs> wow. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd, all right? Now, Floyd's got... Not the... Fuck! Get out of here, all right? Now, Floyd here works at the port. He puts me onto Meriwether Security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Mm, let's get going, all right? Let's take our slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks. Oh, and good to see you, too. <clears throat> What's it been? Not ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese! Damn, T. This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did! Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper. Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey, we need a score, remember. Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello? Me too. What's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, 
not going to matter. We're all going to be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael. Business. Uh. All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, 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 fuck uh, 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 it. Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> so, so, all right. So let me get this straight, then. No, 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 You're... no, no, no. No, there is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now, we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Okay, using the Oxy Hydro cutter on the grill. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? You've got a limited supply of gas in the cutter, so get this right. For me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard won funds. Ha! <laughs> I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. Born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. This will make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. Here we go. 
Get her on ice before the sell-by. Okay, steady. Uh, easy does it, Adam. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out! Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper! It's a flying pig rig! We missed the window! Agency response team's already in the building! It's never too late! We're going! Let's go! It's too risky, Bandito! That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it! You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay! All right, yeah, you go, I'll stay in cover! Fuck, fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them! Come on, let's go! Ah! 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 Oh, FIB Special Agent, I got this covered! Detain this man! Fuck you, I should detain you, I just took a bullet from my country! So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Ah, uh, you and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. Wonderful time, Trevor. <clears throat> no. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise, <clears throat> the other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Uh, good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No, no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, boy! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. 
Why can't we all just be together? Huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. So, this is where Floyd is going to meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That doesn't like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. 
Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. All right, holla him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <sighs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. <sighs> Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. Oh, it's a 
if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? You motherfucker. <sighs> Trevor. Fuck! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend! All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust ass nigga ain't no boss. What up, nigga? Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Okay, yeah. Take it easy. I got you. This is it. Listen, I ain't sure what you're into, but you need a driver anytime? You let me know. We are free, we're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women, here are pain. We are women, here are shout. We are women, we have no doubt. We are women, we are free. We are Shut free. the we are fuck free. up! Thank you. Oh, my N word, huh? What What's up, up homie, huh? <laughs> oh. What a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No. Really? Man. Oh, no. What, oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was fun, all right? I, I apologize. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... 
Let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. Ah! Ah! Right? You yeah, so fucking funny, gotcha! Yeah. Oh! Fuck! No, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh! Fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you all right? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have just. Look, look, fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? <sighs> My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! Mm, asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> I told you, he ain't my g -Lap. Don't try to persuade me you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor uh. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good uh. men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him. Hey, Chapter hey. Phillips no. isn't coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, hey, hey, hey! Let me down! Let me fucking down! <laughs> Oh, shit. All right, then, I'll see you. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. Look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it's the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <clears throat> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. 
Just saying. We had a deal! We had paperwork! Hey! Fuck off, Johnny! Hey, you're a couple real badasses! Put a beat down on an old man! Hey, we don't take that! We have a deal hey. with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! With pleasure. You fuck what? Come in! Come in! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! This is the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course! I'm a man of my word! Dave, let's go! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right.
This it? Nope. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. Then maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Ooh, what's this? That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. That's the one. You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Hey, what's the problem, dawg? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, 
Uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star, sort of. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too a picture of holistic well-being. I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh. That's my son. Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey. Hey. Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what are you doing? Uh, 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 I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say... Shut up! <laughs> I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. Uh, uh, All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So... You'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa! whoa. Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, uh. Come on, just not the tongue. I need that for my... Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ow, you, ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, 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 ow. Oh, 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 that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God, Papa Bear. What's daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do. Are, are we gonna match? <gasps> Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash uh, you over the head with it. Too nice fuck this. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. What are you doing? Mm. Uh, Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. 
We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. Is there for a family that needs therapy? <laughs> My pony. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> it's not good, is it? Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. <sighs> oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? I guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. after the night before. Ooh. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Hey, right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air, uh, 
Hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop, okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. I got a good feeling about him. After what I saw this guy do to two dozen bad cops and a half a ton of armor, I'd take him anywhere. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. <sighs> hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. That man's a murderer! He wants to kill me!
about to knock off a federal government building. Well, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So, I'm guessing drapes and scented candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. You'll have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. There you go. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! Ah! Fucking A right, we did it! Ah! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here, give me oh. some of that! Ow! 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 Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey! Let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> That's some foul ass shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I wanna put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. 
Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, Steve, whoa! On, please! You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you! We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? The fucking Merriweather! What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. No! Oh, same goddamn leg! Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Fuck! Job T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come man. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you Tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Ooh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. 
Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just, I just want, I want something that isn't this. You know, this caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad, love my family, you know, live the dream. But at the same time, I really want the other stuff too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. <sighs> Where are we now? Ah. <laughs> uh. Today's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead ah, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof, so. Maybe things are okay. Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out friend? Tell me. Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I want to be good, Doc, I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. The fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just, I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> Think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Oh, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. 
For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. Hey, 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 why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now, me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there he go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't wanna be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga, you feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man, why don't you slide me a few dollars or something, you know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas at the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours are trying to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. You supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Car. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something, or invade some fucking country. No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Oh, fuck. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. No flossing ass, nigga. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! 
I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E N T! Uh, title! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards, Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Huh? Really modern stuff. Uh, <laughs> pervert. Come on. No, no, no. no. Let's go She's over here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question, get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay, all right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional, Stick, and I just have a oh, hug. Man. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go, thank you so much. Excuse me, excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit, come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. Be quick. Ah! Ah, that's gross. Ew. Baby, Ew. are you okay? Are you all right, sweetie? Oh, oh, We're inside. Find them. Fuck oh them up. Okay, okay. You two stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Ah! I got you, you dick. Oh, uh, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> Get the fuck off me! I thought I was on that guy! So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? 
I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Well, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. All right. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can, you're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, uh, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it uh, again. I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. There wasn't much money in that bureau thing, you know? We gotta give him a shot. They took on the FIB with us. They gotta be okay. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not gonna pass her up. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. 
We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. You just... Hey, man. So we really doing this shit? Frank, come on, next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state-of-the-art. Cool. Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. Get these ready! Please. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, we got a one-minute window before the GPS starts reading abnormal. Ooh, then let the slaughter come in! No, no, Who no. you like? This one. No. Oh, shit. Hey, please, whatever you yeah, need. Yeah, no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck! Let's go! Go, go, go! Get in! Let's go! Let's go. Come on! Let's go! Move. Your welfare! Quit whimpering. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Gets me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Eggplant 22 in sight. Stand by. They're here. Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization? Good. Good? Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Hey. So, you know what to do? Uh-huh. Come on. Okay. Gentlemen? Oh, okay. A job to do. Absolutely. Woo! There is a lot of gold in here. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Hey, <laughs> uh, right, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule. Get yeah! It. Hey. Yeah. Oh! Got many jobs after this? No. This last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! All right, come on, let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. That's it. Let's go. Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe I could on, just, Casey, you know... Hey, come on, Casey, suck it up. 
If you can't handle the hangover case, do not overindulge. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, okay, okay. The link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this just seem easy enough. Here we go. I got you a clean connection. Shouldn't be any lag on switches. We're all near. Change is in. There it is. We're held up at the junction. Done. Changed. There you go. Boom. Hey, Merc's coming from the east, man. Okay, I gotta go east here. This one looks good. Hey, look, you gotta go left. Switched. Hey, I picked up more Merriweather northwest of your position. Okay, look, so you're gonna go right at this one. You're good. They're waving us through. Shit, heavy's on the left of y'all, dawg. Now don't turn, keep going. Green light ahead. Oh, I can practically smell those bastards. Hit the indicator, you're going right. Shit, Merriweather on the west of the grid. Change is in. Now, this is a right, okay? Oh, man, south side heavy's coming at you. We got a green light. There it is. Done. This one's clear. Top of the grid, man. Shit, more Merriweather. Okay, now, we almost clear. The light is green. Hey, they right behind you. Shit, they were nearly on top of us. <laughs> Muscle up! You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the mail. Damn right. All without firing a bullet. Oh, don't forget our oh, case here, uh, huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please, please don't. No, wait. Biggest score of our lives. We ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. T. Well, no, it no, ain't no, a no, chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing was your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old flaccid boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Fucking it! Yeah! Hey, oh, man! Fuck! Work first, bicker later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Mary with Mercenary motherfuckers! Right. You, keep loading. We'll deal with this. So much for the bulletless revolution! Man, we always getting fucked with. You! Hold the perimeter. Everyone else, in your cars. We leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh, with my saddlebags a-bulging? Huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You want to try? Be my guest. All right. Lead the way. I don't see the vehicles. Okay, seal the tunnel and get a ground team in there. Stat! All right. Those guys will take care of the metal. Lester's meeting us at my place. Gentlemen! Uh, Lester. We have just made history. Uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy. 
knowing that uh, it's gonna be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah, now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done? Whatever you say. Wait, this is a good time. That's his fucking fuck, 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 fuck you, you man! Hey, 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 hey! God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey! Leave Lester alone! Oh! Oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all are assholes! Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man, the feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds, Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, Try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, beep, beep. And your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Buh bye bye Man, fuck you. Hey, man, how you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking shoot us! Ah! <laughs> 
You grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24 7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Well, fuck him. I mean, there's gotta be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, Dean. It is what it is. Hey, it's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. 